Hey guys, it's Sherry Ann Richardson from Experimental Home Center, Exotic Gardening, and SherryAnnRichardson.com. And welcome to our daily vlog. Um, I'm doing this really early today. I, uh, I had set down, I had made my schedule for 2018, my work schedule. I have blog posts planned out, clear till June. You know, my daily schedule set up. Everything going really great. Um, my cousin Wendy called yesterday afternoon and we went up to Fort Wayne to do some shopping and out to eat at a place called uh, Smoky Bones. She actually bought my meal for me, which I really appreciated and was very, very nice. And I have to tell you, that food was absolutely delicious. I really enjoyed it. Um, it did have a smoked taste. I ordered ribs and uh, chicken wings. <laughs> I couldn't think there for a minute um, with buffalo sauce. And I had a baked potato. We had fried green tomatoes, which were absolutely delicious. And I had some cinnamon apples. So, um, and they had a passion fruit tea, unsweetened, that I had. And it was just fabulous. Um, I brought four of the chicken wings home. And I'm going to have those for lunch today. If I'm not a frozen ice cube. <laughs> it is really, really cold. Um, Jeff got up this morning and the car would not start. So, he went out and tried the truck. The truck would not start. He tried the other car. The other car wouldn't start. Um, of course, he can't ride the motorcycle. Um, even if he wanted to, because I'm the one with the endorsement, not him. Um, but it wouldn't start anyway, because the battery has been dead for a while, and I need to replace it. But I was sitting here thinking, four vehicles and not a one that will start. Um, it's, it's this cold weather. So I was trying to think who is online at 4.30 in the morning that I can call to try to get him to work by 5. We knew he was going to be late. Um, we don't know how that's going to affect his holiday pay. So he may have lost it. Um, not much we can do about it. But um, I started messaging everybody and, you know, trying to see who was up. And I got a hold of Kevin and he said his vehicle wouldn't start yesterday. But he was really, really sick. And if it wasn't going to start yesterday, it sure wasn't going to start this morning. And finally... A friend of mine woke up. I don't know if I woke her up or if she just woke up. But she came and got Jeff and took him to work. So I'm very thankful for that because at least he'll get a few hours in today. And when he gets home tonight, um, hopefully he can get the car going. Um... When I talked to Kevin, he said it was 31 below zero. Of course, that's with wind chill. Jeff didn't think it was quite that cold. Um, but since we don't watch the news and really everything that I get as far as information is on Facebook, I don't really know how cold it is out there other than I can tell you it is really cold. Um, like I said, none of the three vehicles that he tried would do anything. And um, the battery in the car that he normally drives is not that old. So it should have turned over. Um, I don't know how old the batteries are in the other vehicles, but I don't think they're more than a couple years old either. So, and I know the truck has uh, the cold cranking amps in it and just nothing. So I know it's really cold in the house, and we've got the heat cranked all the way up. I don't even want the heat bill um, when it comes in, because, like I said, we have it cranked all the way up. 
I have layers of clothing on. I'm sitting under a blanket and I'm still cold in here. So that tells you what it's like outside. And we do have good insulation in the house. So um, like I said, it, it's just the weather. I didn't really notice much when I was out with Wendy yesterday, but we were in in town in Fort Wayne because we were at shopping centers and we were just in and out of the car really quick. So um, there's definitely a difference between being in town and in a parking lot where you're in and out versus where we live in the county where it's pretty well open. Um, we do have some houses around us and of course the water company next door, but it's still pretty well open. Um, I do think 2018 started on a really positive note, which I'm happy about. Yesterday was actually the best New Year's Day that I have ever had. And, um, if you're wondering, the, uh, I'm going to try this, see if this helps. There we go. The computer behind me was starting to, uh, fade and that's why the light was changing. But um, it was starting to go to sleep. But, like I said, we're just going to see how it goes. I did get a new blog post up yesterday. And I'm going to look so I get this title just right. Or I guarantee the title will be wrong. Um, it is 10 Tips for Perfect Cast Iron Fried Chicken. So I'm starting to do some of the mind mapping that I learned about in uh, Dolly Freeman's five-day challenge that I took. I will be starting her uh, master class in February, and I'm really looking forward to that. Um, I'm really looking forward to where the... new things that I have learned and the new uh, SEO plugin for Pinterest and all of this is going to take my blog in 2018. I definitely have a plan and this is the first year that I've gone into the new year with a definite plan that I felt pretty positive about so that's good. I do need to work a little more on the plan for the vlog. And I just, I have not got that far yet. That's really what it boils down to. So I'm taking it one thing at a time and one step at a time and one day at a time. And trying to remain very positive in the process, which sometimes is a lot easier said than done. But like I said, um, I am thankful for yesterday I'm thankful that someone came and got Jeff and took him to work this morning. And I don't know what time he'll be home because I don't know if he's going to have the opportunity for some overtime. But we'll see. And I hope all of you started your 2018 out on a positive note. I hope your second day of 2018 is definitely going better than mine because this is kind of scary. Um, 2017 was not a good year at all, and I definitely am looking forward to this year being a lot better. Um, with that said, I do want to remind you that over on Experimental Homesteader, I do have a lot of free downloads. I am still running my free uh, 10 lesson homesteading e-course if you're interested. I have a book in the sidebar called Preparing for Shortage. Um, it's always good to be prepared even if you don't plan on having a shortage because just like today, um, I wish I would have had an extra battery. I wish I would have bought one of those hot charge uh, battery chargers that always keep your battery charged. I don't know if they have those for cars, but I would think they would. I know they have them for motorcycles because I've thought and thought about getting one. If I would have had that today, yes, changing a battery out as cold as it is would have been a bit of a pain, but it would have been an option and it would have been doable. 
And so I think when Jeff gets home tonight, we're going to talk about this and see what options are available and what else we can do to prevent this little disaster from happening again. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Thumbs up, thumbs down, comments below. And I'll see you tomorrow with another daily vlog. Have a great night.